you could save $100 by shopping with a grocery list. Hello and welcome to another edition of Shine 365, where our job is to help you lead a better life. Today we'll review an article by Real Simple Magazine. Here's how I save $100 plus per week by shopping with a grocery list by Ashley Slatopolsky. If you've ever walked into a grocery store on a mission to just buy eggs and milk, but left with a cart full of items you didn't really need, you're not alone. Come on, we've all been there. We walk in to just buy one or two items and we leave the store with 10 items and a bill of over $100 that we never expected. As an impulsive buyer, I gravitate towards pulling things off the shelves. That was especially true at grocery stores where it's really easy to start filling your cart with buy one, get one snacks, bottles of wine on sale, and some new salad dressings that sound absolutely tasty. Next thing you know, you've spent an extra $100 on groceries you've never intended to spend. And it adds up fast, especially when you're grocery shopping on a weekly basis. So how can we break this grocery shopping overspenditure cycle? I needed to make a change in my shopping habits. Between just my partner and me, we were spending ridiculous amounts of money on groceries, averaging out to about $250 per haul. It felt excessive and wasteful, especially when at least a quarter of the items we were buying ended up just sitting in the pantry or the closet for months on end until they expire and then you throw the items out. That's not what any of us wants. To break this cycle, I decided to implement a grocery shopping list that could get me out of this shopping trap. In many areas of my life, including work, I'd always been big on lists. They help me keep on track. They make sure I get everything I need. And also they add some structure to whatever it is I'm taking on at that moment. Plus, they make me feel more organized in my day-to-day -day activities. And I wanted to extend this practice to my grocery shopping. Growing up, my mother often shopped with a grocery list. Not only does it help you not forget to buy what you actually need, but it cuts down the, the amount of time you spend in the store because you know what you need to get. If you're trying to remember what you need to get, then that shiny new purchase catches your eye, you may end up grabbing that. So sticking to a list has the benefit of fewer impulsive buys. So what this author did is she made one master list to keep on her phone that has all the essentials that she buys each week, such as eggs, dairy, meats, fruits, vegetables, drinks, and a handful of go-to snacks. She also keeps a whiteboard on a fridge where we write down anything we run out of. Then before each trip to the grocery store, I sit down at the dining room table, combine the two lists, and I have a written tab on everything we need for the day. When I started this method, I made a vow to myself to stick as closely to the list as possible, allowing no more than three additional impulse buys if something caught my eye. Now here's the key. She allows no more than three additional impulse buys if something catches her eye. Three impulse buys. That's it. After that, no more. If you have three impulse buys in the cart and you find another impulse buy, well, Return one of the things in the cart to get that third impulse buy. No more than three. The first time I shopped with a list, I found out how much faster I made my way through the grocery store, which only makes sense. If you have a list, you know exactly what you're going to grab. So instead of spending an hour shopping, I was in and out in half the time. I also found myself less inclined to make impulse buys since I wasn't casually just browsing the aisles. The biggest kicker? Rather than looking at a $250 plus bill, the final sum was $100 less. I was amazed at how much money I saved. Sure, I didn't go home with extra three bottles of wine that had such a good sale, but I did go home 
with a decent chunk of cash that I could use elsewhere. And after repeating this new shopping process three or four times, I found myself saving upwards of $400 a month. Makes sense if she's saving $100 every trip to the store and she goes once a week, which many of us do, that's $400 a month in savings. Think about how that can add up over a year. That's over $4,000 in a year. While switching to list-only shopping seemed like a major change at first, I grew used to it rather quickly. It made shopping more efficient and our household budget that much more flexible. Now that I've been shopping with a grocery list for more than a year, I'll never go back to casual browsing. Thanks to this tiny lifestyle hack, I have mounted some serious financial gains. I was able to better prioritize my spending and I learned smart ways to both shop and save. Plus I've become much less wasteful with food. And this is another hidden bonus of this strategic shopping practice. And the trick is to print out a list like the one above or the one you'll see on the screen right now or make one on your phone. It doesn't matter how you go about it, but shopping with a grocery list, any grocery list can be a smart financial hack that actually works and it will save you tons of money. If you've enjoyed this podcast, if you've learned something, please give it a thumbs up. Please share some comments if you've used the grocery list and it saved you money in your shopping. I know I have a list on my phone. I started to do this during the pandemic and I've continued it. It definitely saves me money as long as I don't deviate from that list. Remember, only three impulse buys per shopping session. Or if you can keep it down to one, maybe just one, you'll probably save any more. Even You'll probably save even more. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Shine 365. We look forward to seeing you next time.